Aloha, this is Judah Freed talking to you again from Kauai in Hawaii. And it is now 14 days since my kidney cancer diagnosis. And I have uh, another installment of this cancer adventure. Um, first thing I want to do is just acknowledge all those people that have responded. Um, dozens and dozens of people have responded. Um, and hundreds of people have looked at the first installment of the video. So it blows my mind. <laughs> And um, the the generosity of the people, every, all of you, and those of you who responded is just incredible. Um, I have had uh, so many emails and so many comments here and on, on Facebook and on YouTube and elsewhere that it's just really amazing. I've been beginning a log of all the different things that people have told me that I could try uh, to uh, help deal with my uh, diagnosis. And... Um, yeah. Um, also been turned on to some, a number of really important books and videos. Uh, for example, uh, a, a video series called The Truth About Cancer. Um, Mind-blowing about how the pharmaceutical industry managed to take over medicine and block out all the alternatives. Um, and then looking at the alternatives <laughs> that most people don't know about. So it's really exciting. And I have to own that I went through a period of... Um, I guess you just call it dark shadow for a couple of days. And um, even though I really wanted to post another installment several days ago, I really had to work through some 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 dark stuff in me. And the consequence of that was uh, that I had a breakthrough. And um, today, for the first time in about a week, I actually feel like I've got my normal energy back, which is spectacular. Some of the gifts that have come to me have been incredible. Uh, I've been talking about how as I go through this journey, I want to have a miracle every day. And some of these miracles have been astounding. The, the top cranial sacral guy on the island um, offered me a comp session, uh, which really just totally unwound my really painful hip, which was painful from displacement of the enlarged kidney. And um, that's made a huge difference. And now, I actually had an x-ray done of my hip to find out if there's anything structurally wrong or if there was um, any metastasis in the kidney and there wasn't, which means that I can now go back to doing my yoga practice. And um, so even though I still have pain in the small of my back, which is deflected, um, you know, I'm able to deal with that with the yoga and stretching and, you know, uh, acetaminophen. <laughs> Another friend in Texas, Peggy Spencer, who... Um, gave me a process um, um, and it's basically a way to release from my Akashic records from lifetime to lifetime any statements that I've implanted and carried with me that says I have to get my life lessons through the health area and so I did a really intense meditation to just release that from my Akashic records that now I feel like um, I no longer have to have my body being the vehicle through which my messages come and the other thing that's been really amazing was uh, uh, my wife has a friend in uh, the New York area who does a process connected to what's called the Christ Template. Now, this is, of course, a nice Jewish boy, right, talking about Christ Template, but um, it's the highest energy self that you can have. And so what I did was uh, last Monday we did a meditation um, that involved calling in all my guides and higher masters and whatever language you want to use to describe all that stuff and so we we're doing the meditation uh, they examined me and uh, looked at what I needed and uh, they removed my kidney energetically and uh, and the lymph nodes and cleaned up the vena cava and um, and it really did help me lift up for quite a quite a ways and the other interesting thing that's going on is that I have found that there's a lot of people that I didn't know had cancer and have gone through it and are now contacting me, that uh, folks that are friends and family, um, they're just sharing their experiences and their, um, if you will, their strength and their hope, for those of you that know that phrase. And it's, uh, it's really inspiring. So what I've discovered is that anybody who thinks that they're fighting cancer alone um, they're mistaken. There's really a huge wealth of people out there to work with them if they're willing to open themselves. And what I've learned is I have to allow myself to be vulnerable, to admit that 
I don't have all the answers by any stretch and that um, I really need to just learn how to let go and let God as the saying goes that the more I try to control the outcomes the more tense I get and the more I exacerbate the situation so what I'm clear about now is that it's really a process of acceptance and surrender not surrendering to the disease but surrendering to the process that I'm involved in um, I'm really discovering a lot about the medical industrial complex which at some point I'll do a whole conversation about but um, I'm really practicing more trust than I have done in a long, long time. And um, it's pretty astounding what's coming through and what's happening. And I just know it's going to be okay. I don't know what's ahead. I don't know, you know what ups and downs I'm going to have. I'm sure there'll be a bunch of both. Um, but it's going to be all right. You know, the, the cash phrase for me now is all, all is well and all will be well. Um, so... If uh, this brings you some hope and inspiration, I'm grateful. And uh, I really hope that uh, if you're willing to share with me your, your wisdom, your experience, um, I'm really open to hear from it. As uh, I go on, I'll be able to have some of my own wisdom and experience to share beyond just the words that I can share with you here. And um, you know, meanwhile, for you, be blessed. <laughs>